Hello, my name is Jamie Fang. We're at Norman's Orchids in Montclair, California. Um, this is our, excuse me, buddy. Rod, Norman, come here for a minute. We're on. Come and say hi. Come on, don't be shy. What's, what's this? He's like, I'm scared. This is a Frank, Frank, Frank? No, actually, Norman, oh. <laughs> Norman would just over there on the, his own side say, I'm so glad she's over there now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so last year was great. We had a fabulous um, 52 weeks um, annual, was it last weekend? Yeah, last weekend you said last year. Well, oh, I said last year. Gee, it's a little warm in here, wow. warmer than I think. So last, last weekend we had our um, anniversary um, one year podcast um, celebration. It was great. The poster was great. Everybody was great. The food tart was great. Who did you send a poster? Um, Brendan, Yay. Mr. Brendan Lee. He's busy shopping for me. We're having a party at the house tonight for our baker. Cindy's, Cindy's birthday. We're having a birthday um, celebration for her at my house tonight. So we're gonna we're gonna blow right after this and we'll catch the uh, Phil Fanatic um, special. You having a Holoquin talk today? Oh, sorry, development of Holoquin talk. Um, Roger and I will catch it on the um, ride home to LA. So for all the Phil Fanatic people, don't forget the Zoom Zoom link is already up, Jeff. Yes, it is. Is it? And the Phil Fanatic. So go to Phil Fanatic page and um, tap the Zoom link. I'm sorry? It is members only. Um, I, we notice there's a lot of people request to join our Phil Fanatics. I'm sorry, we cannot accept you unless you become a member. It's only $38, guys. Help us out, and it's for a good cause for the um, kids scholarship. So today, what are we going to do today? A famous question every Saturday, what are we going to do today? And before we start, before I get killed by the directors, don't forget you can watch our podcast at um, YouTube under Norman's Orchids. Just hit that like button. Um, for the people, subscribe. Excuse me, subscribed. Um, so for if you have friends outside the state uh, country, just have them join us on YouTube. <coughs> what I have in front of me today, <coughs> excuse me, I was choking over there earlier. I'd like to thank Eric Fang. Look at this. Eric Fang made me a super giant lazy Susan. Eric, do, Norman, do you have one of these? No, I have a small one. You have a small one? Yeah. You don't need a small one because you're not as creative as me. Anyways. We should shoot a picture of Jeff over there. He's dying over there. His, red, his face is red. I'm just thinking, like, oh my God, we've got to cut this out. <laughs> He's like, oh, we've got to cut this out. There's no F words in here. We don't have to cut it out. Okay, so can you see this, Roger? Today on our table... These are wearables, all the minis. These are what I'm doing for a party. These will be jumping into a private jet tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. I can't tell you, these are stars. We cannot tell you these things. Yeah, um, these are, we're making minis. And yeah, these are going to a party out somewhere. We're flying out, so we're doing a mini. These are gonna be for tabletops. So they're going out of the different state. And I made this one. This one is gonna be really fragrant. Another Norman's Mist. Oh, Valencia Indigo. Sorry. I'm sorry, yeah, that's what big one. What am I saying? This it's is the heat. A, this is major. <laughs> it's the heat. <laughs> Norman's strain is what I meant to say. Um, oh, okay, so yeah, so these would be really cute. They could have it around their, their um, little I think it's a long table. So I saw the picture, so this is what I designed. And they will have this hand delivered tomorrow um, for lunch. So today we're going to make, uh, a fr since we're in the fragrant theme with the um, indigo, so we're going to make, I don't think I need that one, a, a dendrobium. But before I start, I have the request. Norman, your time is right after my time. Um, so, Fran wants to have um, a little talk about what to do when you receive your box after you open it. Um, I think try to let the plant relax, adjust to your temperature, adjust to your home. 
Um, let's just try to water it maybe a day or two later. Check if it needs to, even if it needs to right away. And I usually wait um, until the plant has a, a, its way to do this thing, you know, shake it out and enjoy the, the new home. Um, try not to disturb it too much. Just let, let it rest. Let it just be there for, with you for a minute in your new home. Then water um, if it needs to. I think we honor a package of only if it needs to, not right away. Um, but let it relax a little bit. The other thing she wants to know is, yeah, obviously, um, the whole myth about repotting right away, uh, we don't recommend it. It's not that we're afraid you're going to see we don't have root system in our plants or whatsoever, but the plant really just needs to relax and, and get acumen to your home, to the temperature, to the humidity. Let us do its thing. And a lot of them are in bloom or in spikes, so that's try not to disturb it very much. Y if you want to, um, you could repot it after it finished flowering and bark or whatever that you are accustomed to. Or for for a lot of us that know what they're doing, go ahead and do it. Norman's going in and out, in and out. <laughs> There's Hannah going in and out, in and out. Um, so friend, I hope that answers your questions. Is there any other question in there? Just go ahead and put your question on there. Um, Jeff will feed it to me as we go. So we're making one more arrangement that's gonna go on the flight tomorrow. So I, I chose, you know, they gave me a budget. Um, they never tell me what to do. They always just say, do it. And now I just say, what's a budget? Cause you always need a budget. So when you get a basket like this, it's always lopsided. Cause this is a, this is something I custom for our own website. This is a double weave which is hollow inside, a double wee basket. Um, they're gonna come in a little tweet, so you just kinda put it into shape. And then we're gonna have this kind of thing pops out, so you could either, oh, I got bark in here, put it in or sometime I just cut it off. But if you could tuck it in, tuck it in, so you don't have these basket falling apart. So what I did is just tuck it into another spot. And this piece, I'll cut it off. I am sorry, I'm not as organized as his brother over there. She, he, he, he always runs around in the morning and organizes things. But, or maybe two hours before. <laughs> so the, the, this basket is really light. So these dendrobiums are tall. So I don't want it to, for the whole, I need to weight it down. Not only did I need to prop it up for the height, I wanted to weight it down, so I used bark. Otherwise, you, I usually use foam, so when people go carry, it's not too heavy. But in this case, I need to weight, have the weight on the bottom so the, the orchid's not gonna tip, especially now we're going on the flight. Um, so for a party like this, how come I only have four? I thought I have five. Oh, I'll be right back. Here we go. There's my other missing plant, two seconds. I forgot I was watering. <laughs> so of course, um, when you do arrangement, I always like to um, water everything so they don't have to touch it for at least for another two weeks. So this is a little wet, but it's okay, it's a dendrobium. Um, I picked this. This is grown outside and it got dried a little bit, so I soaked it in water. Dry yeah, I know. So they, um, got really dried out there so I soaked it to get it back to life um, pardon me so this is the type that like Norman said we let it dry so the leaf will drop because we really want to showcase the flower um, we don't really need to see all these blooms so yeah I'm not I'm gonna do what we do is just clean it up Again, when you when you do this, there's, there's going to be flower buds everywhere. So be careful. You could do the, the trick I taught you with the Faley. Um, just kind of rip it apart. Or, I don't know if you can see it, Roger. There's flowers everywhere, so you got to be real careful when you rip this apart. Do the split in the middle again. Can you see? Or you, Roger's too busy holding Hannah and do the split in the middle, right? 
Hannah, don't come up, please. And then pull. Basically, we just want to clean up this plant so you could just enjoy. We don't need the leaves. So up here, I have no flowers. So I'm just going to go here and tear. I left this on intentionally so I could show you guys. And always hold the, the, the dendrobium plant. Otherwise, sometimes you're going to snap the, the plant off. And this one's a little stubborn, so we're going to do the split thing. Let's see if I didn't have a tray here. But anyways. So our goal is clean this up, take most of the leaf. We don't need the leaf. To take the leaves out so we could just enjoy the beauty of the flower and the scent. This is amazing scent. It smells like raspberry, as I keep saying. I think I had this on the jumper this week. Oh, by the way, Norman's talking about the cakey paste, right? Cakey paste today, Norman? No, it's extra sugar. Oh, Jesus. Long words. He likes to do that to me. Long words. Okay, whatever. Whatever he just said. Um, I'm just a business major. Exactly. Keep remembering that. I'm the one who holds your money. <laughs> Norman's one of those like, hey, what happened? I still have checks. What do you mean my check bounce kind of guy? Right, Norm? Check never they never check, never bounce. That's because I make sure it doesn't bounce. You so, the, Norman, you don't even do any e-checks. Do you know how to do e-checks, buddy? So um, somebody just, when they're babies, they, they just kind of put a bamboo just to hold them up. So I'm actually going to clean it up since this will be part of spiking, I guess. Remember, the bamboo should be in the back. It's like your tag, Roger. Your baby's like running around between my flowers over there. So remember, the bamboo should be in the back. Andere, andere. 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 I try. That's probably the two words of Spanish that Norman knows. No, three. Three? Aquí, allá. <laughs> over there, over here. <laughs> Anyways. So, I need another bamboo. Norman, do you have a bamboo? Oh, yeah. Jeff, can you give me a bamboo? Hey, somebody got to grab her. She's in my jumpers. I know, Rogers. Oh, no. No, no. Got, uh, somebody grab her. She, She's in my plants to send to Young Young. I have a plant I need to send to Young Young. Oh, thank you, I got it. So again, this one needs to support. So I'm gonna find a place you don't have root system and stab it in. <sighs> oh, great. And then I have my twist tie here. New, this is a new, new style. So no, that's been blooming since last. Yeah, but this is a new, different clone where we try to put stem. Oh, the yeah. Other one's white. Yeah, that's been blooming since last, what, it's been going on for three, on, three on months. Or, three months, yeah. Oh yeah, it quit once, that's right, this is the second one. Yeah, it just kept going. It just kept going. Like November. November, right? Yeah. We have a plant that's been blooming here since November. That's that 50-50, but it's not the 50-50. This one's got the green background. The 50-50 has got the white background, I think. Okay, so this is just a quick listen about how to clean up your dendrobiums. And it's okay too if you want to take the green, the green leaf out. You don't have to keep any if you don't want. But I'll see after um, if, it gets in, if it gets in the way of my flower, then I will take them off. So we're just gonna make a quick, quick arrangement for you. Yes, Hannibal. Yes, I know, there's people here. The nursery's been really, really busy lately. And it's a good thing, retail. People have been coming in every Saturday or even weekdays. Oh, and then people that's buying the jumper this weekend or from now on, um, if you wanted to purchase the, um, the paste, what do you call it, Norman? Ultimate two-in-one kiki paste, kiki paste. Um, you could ask me to add this for you and your jumpers. I don't mind you catching a 
free ride with the jumpers. So if you need this and the jumpers, guys, just it's let me know. Essential. It's essential. Norman gave me one, and keep reminding me it's not for your eyes. It's it's not, it's not lips lip balm. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. I know. Good to see you. Yeah, my jumper is there. So. I'm not going to circle up everything. I think this will work for this arrangement. What do you guys think? Guys, good? Which one? This is the front. That's the front? Oh, oh crap. Oh, that's the one I didn't change yet. I'll change this one. Oh, well, yeah, the flower's in the front, though. I will change it. Good catch, Roger. All this time of being a, a cameraman, learning. he is learning. Learning from the podcast. I know he's learning on the podcast. The other day he's like, is this a Jack and Tia? I go, whoa, 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 babe. <laughs> and then what else did he said the other time? Oh, is this an indigo? Right? You're like tossing. Yeah, he no longer said, is that the blue orchid you guys talking about? He'd be like, is that the indigo? I know, right? Earlier this morning, this lady goes, that's not blue. And Eric says, it is definitely not the blue you see at Home Depot, that's for sure. <laughs> if you're using that as a reference. I'm just catching, since this has got it flown all the way across this. Tomorrow I might as well make it pretty. On the flight, it's going to be um, fragrant with everything going on. With, with the indigo. That one, if you don't stack it, it's a beautiful night. Yeah, but... Yeah, this this type you could grow it um, hanging down or grow it straight up. I don't have any paper here. I don't know. Norman, do you have any paper? You don't need. You don't need this. Okay. So, when you do arrangement, make sure you don't stuff it really, really tight so the plant cannot breathe. Um, I think that's a lot of problem that people were having. They stuff it so tight. But I do have to make sure this one is secure since we're traveling with this. No, this is just, um, oh, kind of is. Good catch. Let me take this out again. <laughs> no, I don't need newspaper. This is it. I just got to take this. It was an order sheet. I don't know why it's doing here. Okay, so the address is out. The rest is just us. Um, good catch, Jeff. Good catch. This is why on Saturday I need everybody to help me because I'm on vacation. Well, so I've been taking the jumpers home to Spike uh, to prepare and photograph so I could cut one day here meaning I don't have to come on Thursdays. Um, and I'm working at the comfort of my home, it's great. Except I over pull, I pull a hundred plant. So um, this is why my arm hurts, guys. You were greedy, you to share. I am sharing. I actually pre-jumped like 20 out yeah, of the- I thought you had a lot of them sitting there. I said, oh my God. You know, I, I had my COVID shot Tuesday, and then I thought, oh, I'm feeling good, so I'm just going to keep working and work. Until Auntie helped me to the car, we're like shoving the car, you know, like I'm a little short of putting one on top of Hannah's head. Um, yeah, so I was telling Roger, I don't know, I'm, maybe it's because I'm tired with COVID shot. I'm working really slow. I mean, I've been spiking and cleaning the plants for three days now. I mean, I even did it till what? Well, what's that? 11.30, I went, Roger went to bed. I was still up doing this. Are you good at getting good at talking to yourself now? Huh? Oh, I'm very good at talking to myself. I'm just pretending somebody's listening. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I don't have the right clipper to do this. This is why I love my sticks. They're very, very versatile. And Roger Lee, I need help cutting this thing. Um, somebody stole my clipper. Um, but anyways, so these are the Spanish moths that I custom for orchids.com. Um, we treat our staff very, very well. The Spanish moths, as you know, 
um, it's really dirty and you could get allergy and, you're, and if you work with this so much, your hand gets all um, screw up. Oh, great, thank you. And if you get it from the wild, that's hanging in a beautiful savanna tree or Georgia, whatever I've seen that I love, and you'll, you'll have bugs in it. So I have this company in Santa Barbara um, wash the Spanish moss, dry it, and then dye it for me for this special color for the dot com. So, and then our ladies that work with these, their hands are all nice and pretty. They don't have um, allergy and bugs eating through their hands all the time. So these are custom for my dot-com company. So we had to treat our staff well. So I wanna make sure since they're top heavy, I wanna make sure we somehow secure this. But again, your accessories should be there, but not the focus. So I'm um, just gonna use this to tie it and I always use my own this is great I'm uh, not being seen today I'm always hiding behind um, again I don't want to use well actually here I'll do this forgot I had two lazy shoes in here I know Hannah Bell you're just being so mistreated today So this is the back. So you always put your stick in the back. Because like everything, you don't want it to be seen. And this is gonna be my anchor, the bottom, so you're gonna make sure it's tied really tight. Yes, Annabelle. Right, you can see how flexible these sticks are. And these are the best stuff. Um, if I can't twirl it, if I can't move it, I don't buy it. The mission is to tie the arrangement together so they're not going to be flopping. We have, what, five plants in here, so they're not going to be flopping left and right, um, just in case they have turbulence or whatever on the flight. And you're right, Norman, the, the flight's going to smell so nice. So the mission is to tie them together so when they move, they move as one unit versus five different directions. So next week we'll do a walking tour. I, as you guys love that, so we'll do that next week. I'm gonna try to do it from behind, so. Any question, Jeff? No. Anybody awake? The only, the only question is why is Hannah always barking at Norman? No, because she's tied down. She wanted to be here with me. And Norman only. Oh, because she loves Norman. Because Norman always say, hey, you want to play with my cat? <laughs> no, actually she barks at the family when we, when we first arrived. It's, um, it's her way to say hi, her greeting. Yeah. It's quite pretty in here. We're gearing up for Mother's Day, so it's going to be really super busy in about another week. Um, I can't believe how fast this year already gone by. We're going to be in May already. Right, so, so far we got this secure. See how they're all moving together. We tie the three together with the same stem. Oops, pretty fast Lazy Susan here. I forgot I should thank Eric for making my big giant lady, Lazy Susan. So I'd like it to come up a little bit off the top. So let's make it not so originally tall. Just kind of curve it a little bit. I have another piece here. That this one looked like it needs a little support as well. So that's... Those don't actually have to be packed to flight, right? <coughs> no, since it's private, down. yeah, since it's private, they were just gonna, I'll probably just put it in a box so it won't tumble over. Um, I had the first lady of the Philippines years ago, we used to come to the shop. Um, we all know who she is. She comes to the shop and 
buy stuff and just put it on the jet to go home to the Philippines. Of course, you don't have to pack anything. So that's what we did. So this is just a tool to support. You could do, use anything you want, whatever you have at home. Um, this is the sticks I used to sell at the shop. And these are great because they're reusable, so you don't have to buy new ones all the time. So remember earlier, I have a whole branch and I, I cut some apart. So I get to have some for the front. Is Brandon on? Sometimes he's watching. Yeah, Brandon's going to be. So tonight, the menu is air fried chicken wings. I bought eight pounds of that. And we're having steak, chicken, sausages, potato salad, shrimp on a skewer. Um, we're having our famous tart for the birthday girl since she's a baker. We can't really, we're under stress to get her right baked good. So just, um, a tart, apple pie. <laughs> Why well, smells so good? Maybe we should get some raspberry since this smells like raspberry. Um, are you destroying the things, yeah. Roger? Yeah. The camera just slipped. The camera slipped? Oops. Yeah. Hey, Eric. Thanks for my lazy Susan. It's huge. I love it. Eric's helping the retail clients. Set and spin. I think so, but I think we might be too heavy, Jeff. <laughs> It'll be set and broke. <laughs> so, like, I don't really like these leaves. It looks kind of sad, so we're just going to get rid of it. And since there's no flowers here, so it's going to take it right off. Be careful whenever, even I, even somebody who's done this for 30 years, I still hold the stem. You don't want to pull it and snap it. I mean, I've done it before. So, Hannah, stop. So that looks a little bit cleaner, I think. Yeah. Okay, no questions? So spring, it's just really pretty here. I'm having a hard time picking the jumper. Hard meaning after I select them, how do I, you know, I try to only do 50 a week. This week I kind of went a little nuts and did 56. Anyways, um, it's springtime. It's a lot of beautiful stuff. You see my LED light, right? I'm having a great time with my LED lights. Thanks, Jeff. Love your LED lights. Can't say enough good things about them. You could pay me later. What? <laughs> so imagine this in your house look how beautiful the color it's actually i'm not sure if the camera could capture the bluish yeah, the lavender yeah. Yeah. yeah so um i do arrangements for all s different kind of function um you could do gaudy which i could do i don't prefer to or you could do simple and elegant like this and i usually don't like to mix color uh, if i do mix color it'll be a major request from the clients i'm almost ready norma if you're gonna go on um, with the moss i'll try not to make a mess here and then i have to clean hannah has a thing about brooms and stuff she hates it so if i grab a broom, she barks so you do want to fluff it out because you're going to use this to cover the pot but you don't want to be so much that you're gonna rot out the plant, especially failies and stuff like that. So it's just kind of, you know, fluff it out. And gently lay it on top. You don't really want to push it so far in. You, the more you push, the more moss you're gonna waste. Right? And it's pretty to have it a little fluff, fluffy. Usually, wholesale, they want to pull our tag because they really don't want people to know where they're getting their plants. Obviously, this is their, you know, lifestyle. Their, what do you call that, Roger? Their living life. They don't want people to know where they get their arrangements because most of my clients before are interior designers, so they don't want their clients to know. 
so here we go. We have this. Yeah, this is just one of their house that the, he's having a party at. Uh, usually when they're home, it's like five times of this and nothing small. It's everything is gigantic. It would have been a $10,000 job. But I think this is pretty much it today. Oh, right on time. Any questions, Jeff? Everybody likes it. Hey, they do? Okay. Um, yeah, this is really, really simple. You could do this at home if you have dendrobium. Um, try, try to put the same genuses together, you know, because, and then try to put the same potting medial stuff together. If you had dendro, put the dendros, I mean, uh, the moss, put the moss together, the bark, put the bark together in arrangement, because it's very hard to water, you know, because they're different watering. So if you have arrangement that you want to make, make sure the potting medium is the same. Um, that's the best advice I could give you. Looks like Jeff is um, trying to kick me off the camera. Mr. Fang, are you ready? You were born ready? Okay, I'm always ready. <laughs> Normally don't have your red shorts on. You're going to have to find it. Summer's coming uh, up. I, I found it. You found it? Yeah. I'm going to auction off. You're going to auction it off or sell fanatics? <laughs> 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 I'm sure they'll get a lot of money off of that. <laughs> hey, so it's versatile. We're going over. We're, bye. I don't even have a chance to say bye yet. Thank you, Jamie. Bye. <laughs> And buy from Hannah. <laughs> Hold on one second. The mic's still up. I know. I'm trying no, to. I, I just muted, but I can't turn it off. Hi, Mom. Hi. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Norman Fong, and for those of you new, uh, today is topic will be, uh, it's not just about the KP pass. KP pass is one of the tool. So I'm gonna talk about the asexual propagation, uh, and then KP pass is one of the tool. Uh, what the difference between, uh, when, when we actually making a hybrid like this, for example, uh, we make a hybrid, and so maybe from the, uh, pollen from the male part enter and to the ovary of the female so we this is what we call the sexual propagation uh, sexual propagation so a lot of time it take or it might not take uh, this is the one that uh, uh, my assistant uh, Brendan uh, Brian did uh, November 3rd so this is actually uh, he crossed several type of this beautiful silver leaf uh, stood Adriana so this is quite rare. So I think he did some selfing. Uh, some of them obviously did not take, you know, this, the C part did not enlarge. Okay, so, uh, so the sexual up, uh, propagation have their limitation because they are, they can be anything. Uh, so this is actually ready to come out. So then we will send it to the laboratory. Uh, but a, so this is how we get the seeding uh that we offer but the seeding will be uh all different because they can be resume from the the father or the the mother and so this is what we call the sexual public uh, propagation of orchid but another way of asexual is mean tissue culture or cloning them and most of us do not have the luxury of a tissue culture laboratory or in most of the case, you have to send the uh, the shoot or the flower stem or final analysis, depending on what genus, to a laboratory. So this is why we uh, we uh, we come out uh, with the, the so the essential publication usually is when you divide your orchid, the cataria, and but there are some orchid uh, cannot do it by division. For example, the final analysis, which is the final analysis uh, is a monocar, so they go upward. So you don't have the uh, shoot like Catalia or Dendrovium. So the only way you can have them cloning them is uh, do it by Kiki. So this is how I come out with this. Uh, 
just beautiful. Look at this here. Uh, the package is beautiful too. Uh, this this is five grand of the ultimate two in one cakey paste. There's no uh, preservative. Uh, the this is uh, you might you might ask what's the difference of, between Norman yours the ultimate uh, cakey paste and uh, other people. Okay, you notice that the the all cakey paste you had to buy two you had to buy one for cakey for the shoe and then buy the second one for the root and that is so old school you know my purpose is not to make your life miserable uh, i just want to make it uh because i go so much orchid i must make something easy and simple and because my background in chemistry which one? This one? Okay. Uh, in chemistry and, and tissue culture. Uh, how many, uh, so I actually, especially this year, uh, the reason this one works so well, we actually did it uh, last year. Hannah Bill, can we take somebody? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, how many of you like sushi? How many go to sushi bar? Okay. Uh, there is a there's a relationship between uh, the kinetin, which is is in one of the key ingredients in here, and it's a it's a natural cytokinase. And in sushi bar, uh, if you look at some of the uh, cosmetic, uh, you look at the ingredient, especially very high end like Shinshado, uh, SK two, they have kinetin in there, and the reason they they found this how the kinetin to use in cosmetic is in Japan. Uh, if you notice the sushi chef, now he might be 90, 90 years old, 60 years old, but his skin is very, very small. And the trick was the constant washing the rice. So what happened in rice, they had some ki natural kinetin in there. So that's how they discovered the using the kinetin for cosmetic for your skin. Okay, so then come across to what it had to do with, with, with this for orchid. Uh, in the old days, the most of the before this one, most of what you buy for cakey course is all synthetic, okay, which means they're not natural. So especially this year, I actually found a source for the uh, uh, cosmetic grade uh, natural kinetin. And that is the relationship, the natural kinetin, the most abundant. We don't have to get it from rice water, you know, too much rice water. But the, the best source of the natural kinetin is actually from the corn. Okay, and then we only could make this once a year. And then we also find uh, the source that they use for the, you know, 200 jar cosmetic that they use the uh, organic corn because most of the corn grown here uh, in the United States are GMO okay but they have the source for uh, people who grow organic corn the C is not GMO they use that to get the natural kinetin and that's what is in here and this is only five grand okay so that way you don't have to buy two so this is actually more economical you, instead of buying two, you pay fifty dollars for it. Just only one. No, so you don't. Th that way, I'm not going to give you some. The, the mat material it was initial designed for doing uh, cloning on phalaenopsis, but this two in one is natural. You will not give any. Uh, it's not synthetic, so you will not kill, give you that kind of weird effect on some of the uh, uh, synthetic cakey growth, for example, and then. It does because it's natural. It does more. You can you can use on Catalia, uh, Dendrobium. I will show you there. Okay. So tip, this is the typical. Uh, for example, this is the uh, this is the one, Jeff. Remember, it's been blooming uh, since November last year, and this is the one we're trying to propagate. Uh, this is the two in one. Okay. It, except this is the the yellow version. Okay. So. It has so many spikes. Uh, 
I do want to get a cakey. A this is the only plan right now. So I do want to have a cakey. Uh, a so in fan analysis, all you need to do is do in here. I'm going to peel this off. Can you do a close up? Okay. Right here. See here? Okay, here's a here's a dormant flower bud. And they will just take yours. And I use a Q-tips. Because Q-tip is very soft. But not and then I'll just do this. Voila. That's it. So I can do it any of this note here. And even even the side branches, as long as they have a flower bud here, so I can and the plant is really strong. So what I can do is I can cut this half, this flower spike, to the laboratory. Okay, you can pull back now. Okay, I can pull. I can uh, so I, since I have two spike, I can send this spike, cut it off, and send it for the laboratory to more stem prop. And this side here, or this note. I might do two or more, two or three more, uh, because the plant is strong, very healthy. If a plant is on the weak side, don't overdo it. Only measure to one or two. So I'm going to do two, a uh, couple more. And here's more, some more note here. So you can just always uh, peel them out and do more. And that way, I can have another genetic identical. This is what we call stem prop, or this is cakey. Okay, and so another one is is for rescue. Okay, this is a beautiful white with yellow lip. Okay, but the plant is kind of uh, stressed. I don't want to lose the plant. Okay, the and the root is very strong. Okay, so I have a choice: either send it to for like propagation, or in this case. I make an executive decision uh, just for demonstration purpose. I'm going to do, a, uh, it's easy to do it, show it here. Okay. This is the standard fan analysis. Okay, and the flower is all finished. So I'm going to cut it, I'm going to cut it off. And that's easy to do the cakey, especially for the standard side fan analysis, because as, uh, when the flower is attached, the apical dominant is there. So this is why all this flower bud is emerging. They, they're not there yet. The minute you cut the spike off, it reduces the apical dominant. So normal oxygen, normal nutrients sent to the tips. So it's easier, and this is a perfect example because I like love to do it with with a big fan analysis because there's no here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one, two, three, four, five, six note here, but I usually don't do the bottom. This two here would would come up. It, it's usually in physiology, it's too old. So one, two, three, four is your best bet, this four here. But I'm not gonna, because plant is stress. So I'm going just to two, and then I'm gonna do it on the top. Uh, because, you know, 50-50, you might get uh, this, uh, this, any one of those two will, will break. So you can use it, your uh, fingernail, or if you have a uh, scalpel, and then make sure you take out this sheet here. Roger, can you see this here? You see here, right? Okay, here. It so there, and then I will use the other side of my cube tips, just in case I do not cross contamination, and just a little depth. It doesn't take a lot, and right here. Okay, 
So I'm not going to do any of the down here because that would be too stressful for the plant because plant is not health, very healthy right now. So any of those two, if everything work well, and the trick, if you want cakey, a vegetative stage, helping out with a warmer day temperature, warmer night temperatures. So if you go your orchid outside in Florida, put it inside in the, in, in the, in the house. Make it, put it in a very nice, uh, bright, warm spot, warm, th warm day and warm night. That will encourage the keiki to have shoot. And then you might see as fast as two weeks, this flower bud will, uh, will swallow and then give you flower bud. Okay. And Yeah, it was touch it. Close, close, hmm? close enough. Okay, uh, uh, and then you can also, it's another way you can do it on the fan analysis, is the novelty fan analysis. So this is one of your uh, Conristory hybrid, okay. And this is, uh, a lot of time, there's a tip that I do, uh, if you want, to get some cakey, you see here? Do not have touch any of the front up here. And just, I have a, I have a butt here, okay. And I have a butt here too. So I'm gonna just use this one. It's, if this one is, is taller. So I will make sure this one that I take out the sheet. So then I expose the flower butt here. Then you can, and just, Tap, tap, make sure you get a good coverage. Okay, and it's a lot, and I'm gonna do an experiment because I know this plant very well. This day, this is a uh, corn story. Uh, a lot of time, you can actually also do it on the tip of the flower spike. And this is actually uh, a good way to get only for novelty, for this type. You can get a very big cakey also, this way. So this is the way you can actually clone the plant yourself. Okay, and then we can take out. All right, so, so th in, this is just not just for, for cloning, but also I have found that this uh, is very, very useful because they also, uh, we, we also added the vitamin B1 in there. So what happened is I can use for rescue. For example, this is the Pochorima from South Vietnam. Very rare. Unfortunately, over the winter, in the Kronka in there, for example, look at it, a crown rod. You see here, it's a hole here. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, I used a concentrated Fison and put it in the center. Okay, and so the Fison stop the fungi in there. So now, since all the rotting is stopped, I'm gonna get the uh, clean Q-tips. Okay, I've got the clean Q-tips. Because I do not want to contaminate this one with the next one, okay? So I just, then the, remember, this is the one I, I two weeks ago, I found I found the crown rot, and I always put a couple drop of the concentrated fison in there, and then once the crown rot stop, I put this two in one in there, okay. And if everything go as planted, Roger, look at this one. You're gonna have a cakey coming from the basal of this, so hopefully, and this this will work. See, so this is why I can use this as a rescue. For, in for very very valuable species, and this is this is very rare. Uh, uh, one of the rare, the first uh, Pochurima uh, from South Vietnam, and very good at forty. So you can use. So it's it's always when I say uh, when people have this, 
and they missed it last fall because we only use we only make this once a year because they only make the of uh, kinetin from the new shoot that's where the most concentrate of the new sh the ki the natural kinetin from the uh, non GNO uh, corn leaf. Now, uh, once the, the, the corn become very big or tire, it's not the, the same. So the, the, that's why they only we only can get it once a year, and that's the best stuff. And so, if you want to get it, I would suggest if you have a lot of orchid, uh, I would get I would suggest you get two, just in case because I. I do what I want to tell you that people say on your fault. Do you, Norman, do you have more? I said, I'm sorry, you gotta wait until next year, next spring. How long does it last if you keep it refrigerated? It could last forever because they, this is petroleum, uh, you know, this is the same thing. What's the oil that they use for lipstick? Uh, Vaseline. Yeah, this is washed off in the dissolved in Vaseline. And Vaseline keep it stable. Uh, After you apply it, how long before you notice it keeps it? Uh, depending on temperature. Uh, as fast as two weeks, okay. And so, for this is the case when I finish this, you know, I I make sure it's thoroughly wet before I do it, and then I just put it aside and then forget about it. Do not water again. Just leave it aside. No water, and just let the plant do their own wonder. Can you use it on other plants? Any kind of plant? Yes, I'm coming up, and. I'm going to continue on fan analysis because that's what what was the, the original design. And on your big fan analysis, uh, there's a trick I learned when I was visiting Japan. And only, you only can do this right now because the weather is still cool. You know, you, you cannot do it in the summertime because this one here, right, this has been blooming the first flower. It's been blooming since last October. Okay, and then it stopped at Christmas time. Okay, it, la it lasts for long. So what I did is, uh, sometimes instead of cutting back to get a secondary spike because it, that was in winter time, and winter time the store there's no light, so it, it, it would just sit there. So I can use this, and uh -huh. what I did is, right about December, I put it on the tips. Of here and the weather is still cool so it, it gives you the new development okay so this is actually two, uh, two, uh, two months ago when I, when they when they stop here I use on the tips and it will not give you cakey because the weather is still cool but because the cytokinin the natural kinetin in there the only the natural synthetic cytokinin would never do able to do that it continue to flower. Uh, if people understand why, we, why I do this, because sometimes you can get a secondary spike. Okay, but it was December. It was short day, long night, and cold. And the weather is cool. So I can do that. So this is what I did two months ago from here. And this give you more flower. If I cut it by half, waiting for the secondary spider to come out, I might have to wait, they, they, might, they, they might just sit there until March, April, when the long day, longer day, shorter night, and warmer temperature. So that is one trick, you can do that. So it's not just for propagation um, on keiki. You can actually make them more to flower for your, for your uh, purpose. Any question? Bill Zimmerman is asking, do you recommend to refrigerate it? Uh, I would just put it in the room temperature. Yeah, I do not put it in the, uh, do not put it in the uh, garage, because it's too cold. The, uh, if you want to put it in the refrigerator, uh, if you have a kid, make sure you put it in a, another seal, you know, because this is very small, I don't want people to go, you know, in there. So, uh, uh, the refrigerator, refrigeration, uh, about, if you use it within a year, should be no problem. Yeah, because the uh, vaccinin is uh, actually keep it very, very uh, good. Uh, temperature, the trouble with temperature refrigeration is of moisture too. Okay, so this, but this is very stable. Okay, all right. 
Now, what about this? Okay, you can do it. Uh, you can do it with a miniature fan and nozzles too. Okay, and in this case, uh, this is the Lobia hybrid in a Formosa Dream. Okay, so when this is finished, and I'm gonna I and, and Formosa Dream uh, Lobia is, is a nice. So what what I do is I put it in the I just put it in the very tip of the flower spike. Okay, and sometimes I put it at the base. If I have extra, and guess what? In two from the same spike, the old spike will give you a kicky from the tips. You see it right here? Okay, and since this is a very strong print, look at the root here. This year I have a new spike, and this is how you get kicky. So you can do it even on a miniature, all right? And simply, because miniature do not have a side note here because they're so short. So when, it's this, when there's no side note, you just simply put it on the tips. So this is a perfect stage to separate them because the root is long enough. So I have to, this is the perfect time to separate them because if I don't separate them, I uh, will take too much strength out of the... And then I'm going to cut them off. See here? I can cut it by half too. Okay. So then I have two keki. And you can start a new keki from there. Okay. And this is another case. that I had to move it right away because it's taking too much uh, strength out of the mother print because it's, it's setting up two flower spike. See here, we have in, entire two new spikes. So if I don't separate them, the print will die. Okay, so this is actually, make sure you want to separate them right now because I see Okay, uh, in this particular case, I see the, the plant is actually uh, stressed. You see the dehydrate, okay, very thin, uh, because it still spend too much energy on the keiki. So I'm actually, in order to save the plant, I'm gonna cut them all the way off. Okay, and you can use this for cut flower. Okay, that way the plant is okay, what I'm using is, uh, what I'm striving is to have a, save the plant from dehydration, uh, save the energy to have a new grow. Okay, all right. So we also sell this kind of, uh, this is a new improved uh, keiki. You can put uh, keiki uh, or the dendrovium or you can put phenolopsis in here, put moss in here. Uh, you can order this. This is wonderful. This is a new design. So it's wider uh, for keiki, okay. Any questions so far? This is perfect size and to do. Okay, so people say the application also is very good for dendrovium. Uh, dendrovium, uh, pulmonum type, parisii type. This is the type, the per this is the uh, little angel baby. Okay, just finished flower. Okay, it's a beautiful, strong print. And I, I can actually make cakey out of this. And in fact, many of the, the very unusual uh, dendrovium, for example, the splash petal, they do not propagate by tissue culture because they, they kind of reverse, especially the splash petal. So this is the perfect time where I cut the flower right now. They have a, a cut tissue. So I'm gonna get uh, another, see here? Any, just tap, 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 any of the 
cut area that I have cut it. Okay, if you want some of the older can, this here, we just finished flour. You can tap, 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 tap. So you want to make sure you water your plant thoroughly before you do this because you don't want to, because since you have the uh, two in one paste, you don't want to wa water it. The water can wash off even they have petroleum. Uh, so this is nice and wet. Then I make sure I put aside for a good two weeks. Next week, could we take some of the kikis and show them how you put it in the, they're asking for a demonstration on that, on how you care for the kiki. But most of the time you let them- You mean like this? Right? Yeah. The, the how to print this? Oh yeah, we can do that. Okay, so if you had no biotite dendrovium, okay, and this is from here, Roger, uh, from here, but similar type. And this is what you get. Look at all this cakey from last year, from just about uh, different variety. You see here? Okay, look at all the cakey. That, that way I can, uh, this is asexual propagation. So you're making, your, you're making a crone. You're croning your own plant. But you also notice that when the plant uh, has so many crone on the plant, they do not usually put a new grow because they are supporting all this. So it's very important that like this is perfect stage. To remove them now or cut them. So this is one print. I actually leave this for too long. Some of this, this is actually for experiment that I did before. This is actually was here for, for almost more than a year. So this is why if I don't cut it, this mother print will die because they, all they've been doing is to support the print. Okay, so, and I, okay, oh, and I, what I usually do is, remember make a dry, I make up a solution of make a dry, and I spray them. And I don't, you do not, and we will do this next week for printing them. We will spray them and keep them moist and then let the, let the mega dry absorb all the nice enzyme. And then we do the repotting next week, okay? And mega dry is, a, uh, is organic enzyme. So it, I can touch it with my bare hand, no problem. Okay, how about now, can you hear me? Okay, so this is another miniature dendrovium, uh, uh, Sakura Himi, so another beautiful Japanese variety. And this is the, also the one I did, the keiki, uh, last. So here we go, make sure we cut them off. This is. I let it, I usually don't let them this long, but I purposely save this for demonstration purpose. Because that, this is actually really stressful on the mother print. Okay, here we go. You see here, the print, the mother print the whole year, last year, did not put out any new shoot at all. All the energy went to support this beautiful three cakey here. So I still had the mother print, okay. Now, do not put any more cakey paste on that. You're gonna uh, just <laughs> you need to then recover. So then go back to normal, and then I pre-printed the label already. I have three of them here. 
one, two, three label. Label is very important. Where's my Mega Drive spray? And I'm going to spray with Mega Drive again. And then, okay, and then until next week, I'm going to spray this every other, every other day. Just make sure they are in a nice, cool area. What? <laughs> Jeff, I need my better stereo stereo. <laughs> Soundproof stereo. Okay. So how about the, how about other, other orchid? When you divide your orchid, for example. Another one tool. Okay. For this is an example, oh my god, this is really old. Look at how how old the the, the moss. They haven't been repaired for a long time, so the moss is all decayed. Okay. So, and this is why. Okay. So that's okay. We just take off all the all dead moss. And another clean razor blade. I'm gonna cut off any moss that have dead root. Okay. Okay. But usually one I usually like to say it's three. Okay, and but this is a valuable print. And this here, if you put it in a new pot, it's really a waste of the print because this, this suitable here is going to die back but because this is a very valuable print I do want to propagate so I actually can propagate from the back bowl okay that way later on I'm going to leave it dry when I put it here there'll be more space because if I leave this one attached it's the physiology of the print is so old anyway is going to just rot it and that's not a mess so what we do is right now <laughs> we got another new q-tips this cut surface here okay this is wonderful this is a beautiful uh, serve as a nice heating agent and also the kinetin in here okay so I'm gonna the labels here so this one here can be a backbone and I can print it next week just like what I did with this one here this is a buffer fighter and phalaenopsis and look at that this is a very old backbone okay that I did about a month ago I did two I can propagate from the both of fire and kind of also suitable, beautiful, nice and firm, and just leave it alone. So hopefully by another by another two months, I will see a new grow. And this is how you propagate the back ball. Okay, um, this one here. Okay, so we're not going to do anything to next week. Okay. okay. And also very important is the Cataria rescue. Okay, this is a beautiful plant. Well, the flower is beautiful, but the print is such a mess. Uh, this is one of the prints that when you get it uh, from South America and the print are so stressful to begin with because they bare root it. So, and it, they also have some problem with the scale. So the print is such a, a, so stressful. So. I clean it up earlier with all the scale problem. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna uh, once I can cut make some division here. Okay. I think this is a uh, by a by forty eight species. Okay. All right. So this is the front. This will be good for because the plant is such a stressful. I it really can benefit using this cakey paste here. Uh, the the petroleum vaseline from the 
uh, petroleum, it, it helps us seal. And then this way, I never thought to use, once I have this, I never thought to use those so-called lurin powder, lurin powder anymore because it didn't, it didn't work, it didn't, it didn't heal, it didn't uh, absorb into the print. So I'm gonna save this and, when, and next week we do a repotting. And then, I think I showed this last year before, the back, usually the back ball is so old, some people throw it away, but since we had this already, I spread it with Mega Dry, okay? And remember, the upside down method, the back ball, for some reason, maybe the gravity, you do it upside down and hand it in the greenhouse, okay? And hand it in the area, it can be below the bench, it, hand it in the area that is nice, shady, and moist, but have to be upside down. And at the meantime, you mix the leaf only, and we make a dry or water, and when the new shoot come out, then you can repot them. So that now you can have a front division and the back division. Okay, so this is how you do with Keralia. So it's, this is pretty much the same theory. It can work on the monocot, which is the Phanonopsis. Okay, and this is the one that we, we, we almost sold out. Remember this beautiful. Uh, Okay, this is the Jim Osman, the Anustum hybrid. Okay, so Anustum, when this uh, flower finish, some of you have purchased already. Uh, if you want some, this is how we propagate them because these are not, this is all from one note. So you can actually uh, by do a cutting and save the note and maybe uh, two note per session and make a cut and seal the bow end with this and you let it on the top of the bark of our moist moisture moist uh the moss and just let them sit there and if everything go well uh in two months they will have a kiki a shoe coming out and that's how we that's how we propagate this particular one okay any question so it's very simple, just mainly because uh, the final losses. Now you can actually do, uh, if you have a, a, a daughter, a son, a grandchildren, uh, need a science project, this is the one. And I know it work. Uh, I used to work for Mandalorian, Mandalorian, the Mandalorian nursery, you know, the landscape print. Uh, it's a wonderful product. I can use it for the how to root uh, print, like Camellia. Uh, Juniper, especially variegated juniper. Uh, roses uh, is wonderful uh, stuff to do, okay? Or sometimes if you are grafted, grafting the cactus or grafting the fruit tree before you, you put the two, uh, what you call the eye and the mother stuff together, put some of this cakey pests. It's gonna work a lot faster, okay? So that would be it for today's uh, show, uh, today's accessory publication. And are we going ready for the show or uh, tipping? Yeah. Tip of the week? Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is item number for this. Okay, make sure I do the one that been used. Okay. Okay, all right. What's wrong with this one here? This is my lazy Susan. <laughs> it's not as big as that, Jamie's. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Too tiny. Norman, grab mine. Grab that one. What? Hey, can you face me? Wait, no, no, don't. Just face me. I'm going to take a picture. Okay. So, let me borrow Jamie's Lazy Susan. Okay. Frisbee. <laughs> For Hannah. Okay. Can we take a look at this? What's wrong? Okay. The at first, people thought, "Oh my God, did I have a fungus infection?" No, no. Okay. What well, this is a uh, those uh, white pink candy. 
Okay, and I was doing a little experiment to see how low the temperature can go. So this is actually not, f the spot here is not from fungus, but the physiology, the plant under stress, under cold. So it was intentionally put outside and the weather go down to about 40 degrees or 45. And this is the hybrid. It's 50 percent uh, Brasophila dipiana, and uh, dipiana is a warm grower. So, so this is why a lot of time, if you see some discoloration on the foliage, do not go panic, and go back to your memory. What did you do with the plant? And in my case, I put it outside. I really want to stress the plant. So this is since you notice on the older leaf, once they're older. Uh, more mature, they can set the cold stress. It is the newer one. They're still young. So, they just finished flower. Okay. And just do nothing about it. Just resume. It's, just, it's, it's gonna, I, I call this, so this, so you, so this is how you know, uh, we know that this variety will not sustain uh, winter time growing outdoor in Southern California. Uh, it grow wonderful in the summertime here. It take 100 degrees. It take the heat stress. But on the older, on the younger leaf, does it not as hardy as the older leaf? Okay, so that's okay. So if it really bothers you, uh, for example, there's a, there, there's a, you see here, there's a damage on the leaf. And I would leave this alone, but this worries me because there's a damage on the leaf, so there's an opening. That gives room for infection, okay? So it's best in this case, and since this is a bifoliate, I'm gonna just use a creep, two four, two leaf. Okay, okay, I cut it off already, okay? And I just let it dry, then, Make sure, uh, make sure I make sure I make sure I spray mega dry on them. Uh, instead of instead of twice a week, sometimes I usually have what we call the nursing area. The pe the for the plant need to be more attention. Then I can spray them because I'm not gonna water the plant. Okay, the plant is wet, but in, I can. You should have an area what we call nursing area or uh, quarantine area. When we plant, just coming from the shipment. Okay, so you can actually spray mega dry once a week, no problem. Uh, if you want to do it more than once a week, dilute it. Instead of three ounce per gallon, do just one ounce. And then you can mix them. Okay, it's, that way it's wonderful for that diluted. You can spray every day. It's, it's, so if you got in the new uh, Beirut shipping from uh, South America, for South, uh, South Africa, they all can become bare rooted. The beer is dry, they're very stressed. Use that at one ounce per gallon of the, of the mega dry. And I usually, I have a, have a, a solution and I, I spray, I use it in a, just as a liter diluted. And I, I can use it in one day because I have so many plants in the nursery, okay? But the mega dry, once you dilute it, always use it within 24 hours, okay? Alrighty, so that will be tip of the week. So when you have some discoloration on the new leaf, okay, do not panic, do not call me, <laughs> don't call 911. Go back to your log, see what, how, what did you do, because only you can do, uh, do something to the plant. In this case, I put it outside because it's part of my experiment. So, so this, in this case, is not disease infection. It's just a, a physiological response to the, the cold temperature. Uh, it always happens on the younger growth, the new growth. The old one, they're tough. They're tough as nail, okay? All right, so we will continue 